since I was 13, just 13, I said to wear a band, a white band with a blue star. We already knew what, what had been done in Germany to the Jews before the war. And we expected something awful to happen to us. And we, expect, and we expected all the time that uh, we can be locked in a ghetto. But anyway, everybody feared it. And some people tried, some Jews, tried to run away to the other side, to the Russians. It was not so hard to get through the green uh, border. So some people ran away, but we stayed, we didn't run. Uh, we were, uh, my grandmother was very seriously ill, we couldn't move. On my way to the classes, which took place in one of the girls' flat, I walked along the street strewn with dying people and with corpses laying on the pavements covered with newspapers, uh, with bricks. Uh, there was a, uh, thousands of people in the ghetto who were homeless. Usually they were people who were brought by force to the ghetto from small villages and uh, small towns around Warsaw. These people had nowhere to live and had no nothing. So they lived in the streets, begging for food, and died on the pavements from starvation and uh, infectious diseases such as typhus. So I walked along the street and I looked at these people all the time. Whenever I could, I gave some bread to, to the begging children. But yet I must say, I got used to it somehow. I was not the only one, but I somehow got to use it. It was all the time. Awareness of the danger that we could die at the time, it somehow made me think I, I would like to fall in love and uh, be loved by a boy, otherwise I may die and never, never know what it is and so on. I met a boy who was 16 like myself. Uh, and it, it lasted only three weeks. We only talked, only talked, <laughs> nothing else. And big action began, big action of deportation. Uh, of the people from the Warsaw Ghetto to, as it proved, straight to the gas chambers in Treblinka, and we lost touch. Uh, for a long time, we didn't want to believe it. There were cases that very rarely someone managed to run away from the transport, and these people already knew what was uh, going on there, so, and they told the story, but. Anyway, we didn't believe it, and many others did not believe it. It was a kind of, uh, we didn't want to believe, self-preserving, uh, not to believe in it. The young people who were preparing themselves to fight, they really believed it, and they, they fought. I mean the ghetto uprising in April 1943. I spent about two years uh, hiding on the uh, so-called Aryan side and beyond the ghetto walls. It was all the time hiding, running away, looking for some other places to hide. I was unbelievably lucky. We were even spotted by a German. Uh, it was in a transit, transit camp from Warsaw to Pruszkov transit camp. And we were spotted as Jews uh, by a soldier, a German soldier. And again we were lucky because he, he wanted to just uh, shoot us on, this, on the spot, but then he thought probably 
ask for permission to his senior, and he left us, uh, promising he, he will come back in a moment to deal with us. And suddenly, a man appeared. I don't know where from us, from from heaven or some a strong man, Polish man. He said, "Run away with me," and he took us to a hiding place in the camp. And we survived. When I was in a little village, the Russian army entered, entered uh, the place. Uh, there was a very short uh, shelling, and uh, the Germans went away, and the Russian came. And on the same night, I went to a shed to bring some wood timber for fire to make some fire and I saw there a German soldier I went to the to the, my hostess and told her excited you have a excited you have a German she said very well they take him some food he must be very hungry I went there, and he was invisible, he was hidden among the... But when he smelled the food, he came out, and it was a young boy. He was much or even younger, he frightened to death and terribly hungry. And I looked at him, but I felt nothing, no, not hatred, not, not uh, satisfaction, or... Uh, or, uh, or pity, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it was the end of my war, in fact. Please help to rescue and preserve more memories of the Second World War. Visit www.war-experience.org.